Hi, um, I just got back from McDonald's. I went to McDonald's to get something to eat. Uh, the bill was $16.31. Um, when I went to McDonald's, I was reminded of courtesy in the United States. And courtesy is a great thing, but um, you, you shouldn't have to participate in, in anything in the United States. You should have your freedom, your liberty, and your independence. Um, and what that is, is what the country was founded for. It was founded for freedom, liberty, and independence. It wasn't founded for the purpose of uh, narcissism. Okay, I'm dealing with it here. See, um, there's a person here who wants to quash whatever it is I'm trying to do, which is live my own life where people just happen to have a chance to listen to me uh, through this YouTube that someone is trying to control everything you can hear or see on the YouTube around here. And it's, you are your own YouTube, okay? So you have to control your own YouTube, unless, of course, you're an old man, where you wrote a movie called The Up Movie, where you got someone to write the movie. You can't remember, you're an old man. But there's an Up Movie that looks a lot like you. And uh, the attitude, you understand, wasn't from a, an old town that used to be a boom town in the 1880s uh, that in no way compares to the place you're from, which is from a big city, great big city in an old house. And uh, you, you just take your house and you fly away to your uh, fantasy destination. Oh, and I got a motor home with the motors all torn apart. Uh, see, that's why it was. Anyway, um, I, I'm i not going to drop the issue and try to and have to forget what it is someone's doing here when I'm talking about quash and rock the cash bar. Okay, so... Um, what I was talking about was the invisible man in the society who's controlling everything so deceitfully that no one can see it. And there was a song written about that by Ronnie Millsap. It's called, There's a Stranger in My House. Okay, whatever your house is, is your house, right? Okay. Well, all we're talking about there is someone mocking your own definitions in your accountant film as they intend to suppress and oppress you as some kind, as they try to ensure there's some kind of justification for you to believe in some kind of superior power that doesn't have any rights or any credibility to the situation which was, which created the country, okay? The country was created for freedom, liberty, and independence. It doesn't matter from who, it matters how and why it was created. Okay, so we want to argue about who has the right to exist, to be in a way that they are, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Unless, of course, it's something that doesn't belong and wants to oppress and suppress you, okay? Okay. That's the cops, that's the city government, that's the county government. 
it's the state government, um, it's any kind of league or organization that has put itself together in order to have you assume that you are a community of equals that are in any way less than any other organization that wants to rule over you. No one rules over you. You have a freedom, a liberty, and an independence. It's you. Everyone is your equal. Everyone. No one is special. No one is superior. The only thing that is special and superior is the laws that you live by. And if you can't live by those laws, you don't belong. You're a criminal. You are a cancer. Something is wrong with you. And it's your problem. So, your purity, when you're talking about being something that belongs, you, in that freedom, liberty, and independence, it's you. It's your purity as you live by the Ten Commandments and the Golden Rules. And I don't know how this goes together, but the source of all good and evil is the seven deadly vices and the virtues, heavenly virtues. There's seven and seven. And if you put those on top of a seesaw, you'll be able to understand how it can balance out. It can balance out any way you want it to, but you want to get as close to, to an equal, equal side on each side. And I had that thing there with, it started with a hang glider. But if it, if you go this way, it's like a plane. It's like a bird. It's a bird. It's either a black bird or a dove. A white bird. It's really a seagull. It's a seagull. A white bird, a seagull, or a dove, you know, that's those are your classifications. All you have to do is look for them, your white birds and your black birds, and, and you'll see it's all there. It's all ready for you. All you have to do is realize the right things, and you can see the right things. You don't have to put anybody on a pedestal. You don't have to have someone who you believe is superior. You're not an inferior in this world. You are an equal in this world, and there are other people to respect. Your respect. That's all you have to do, is respect other people the way you should, and do what you should, and you'll, you'll survive, my friend, you'll survive. <laughs> okay, but there was that song, There's a Stranger in My House, and that's the sneaky little snake, or sneaky little rat, all your rodents, all your vermin, all of those things, they're the ones in your stuff, trying to do what they want with it, that's... That's the rat, that's the cockroach, that's the beetle, the uh, snakes. You can find everything there. What you want to do is make a vocabulary list, your very own vocabulary list, and get the right, truthful, absolutely true, absolutely pure definition, and put it in your vocabulary list, and make sure you remember every word, everything. And put it in a safe if you have to. But make sure you don't lose that vocabulary list. Because if you don't have the right vocabulary, you are not going to understand things right for you. Now, remember, your life is for you, my friend. No one else. Your life is for you. And... It's, it all fits together perfectly. You just have to understand how to understand it, how to perceive it, how to recognize it, 
I've got the five words. Realize, recognize, understand, know, and remember all of those things. Now, you got to write yourself a really nice control program for yourself. And right in front of you, you have that computer. And the computer is your model for that. You got a computer program in there. It's got to reboot. It's got to be right. It's got to be fixed. You got to get all that malware and crap out of, the, out of your programs. It's right there in front of you. You don't need anything else. And if you do, if somebody sees they need something, guess what? They're going to write some software and it's going to be available and you'll find it right there on the internet somewhere if you look for it. Everything you need is on the internet. Don't forget it. Absolutely true. But I wanted to talk about this stranger in my house. But you see, these people are in my house. They're following me. They are here, my friend. And because they're here, I'm forgetting things. I can't understand. There's something wrong with me. But you see, <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with me. It's only the lies that have an effect on me. See, it's the lies. I have to know and understand how to get rid of those things in order to make sure I can survive in my own life. And I didn't spell that word life, but you can spell it and take it. It's yours. Your life is yours my life is mine. We can live together on this planet. We can live together in the universe. But we can't offend one another. Okay? Um, but what was I going to say here about this uh, song here? Oh, yeah, I'm forgetting things. And it's not my problem. See, if I exist in the truth... <clears throat> And the truth always is true, and I know it's a matter of purity, see? It's a matter of purity and security. And if I looked up the, the uh, armor of God, I would see I'm a Catholic priest, and I have my armor, which is mine. It's my armor of God, and I've got a helmet of salvation. I've got a shield of faith, and I don't want any sword. But, you know, I really haven't looked at that scripture. I haven't looked at to see what that sword is, because there's all different kinds of swords in there. I don't know what that sword is, but I don't want one. I've been doing this for 50 years. I know what a sword will get me, right? I'm an old man. I'm not going to cause anybody any problems. But you see, I've got maggots, I've got parasites, I've got rats, I've got mice, I've got cockroaches, I've got all kinds of people, and all they want is a piece of whatever it is I got, and if they had the chance, they'd be sitting here eating me like some kind of vampire, some kind of where the hell is the wolf. And all that shit on television, right? Okay, so here's your great little show. I got to put on a show for you. I don't want to do any goddamn show. I, I've never, ever been on... I've never been a showman. I have always been my quiet little self that only wanted to survive in this world of terrible, terrible, unbelievable people and here I am in Jeanette, where the government is putting on the biggest fucking bullshit show you'll ever see in your fucking life. They are, oh, I'm here to help you. And you know what? They do it so well, they're not even here. It's your fucking neighbor doing it. Oh, yeah, it's your fucking neighbors. It's your fucking TV shows, the fucking radio, even the fucking football players. It's the biggest bunch of bullshit, the fucking biggest shit you ever saw. It's all a fucking
bullshit show. That's what we call it. It's a fucking bullshit show. Big load of crap. Okay? But it's a matter of purity. Being yourself. Minding your own business. And not bothering anybody else. Not irritating. Exacerbating. Causing someone a rash. The poison ivy of the lawyer's bar. <laughs> the poison ivy of the lawyer's bar. What the hell is that? I don't know. But I got a big fucking paycheck. And I don't give a shit about anybody else. And that's what this world's come to over here. Okay? So the stranger in my house is the guy that isn't living according to my own composition of whatever my house is. And that's that cute little movie that we made where he always has his furniture in the same place. He always has everything straight, straightened out. Everything's always the same. And you know what? It's that's every old person in the world is like that. Pretty much, I guess. As far as I know, that's the way it is. They just like things the way they worked all their lives to come up with their own way of doing things. And that's the way they do it. And now they've got their own way. It's their house. See? It's their own property. And they want it the way they got it. They worked all their lives. They don't want to be bothered. But somebody's going to come in there and run them all over. You know, that's what will happen. And they'll sit there and go, oh, could you please help me? But that's only the people that never had it their way. See? Those were the people that had somebody else in their lives, making their lives the way they were. And those people probably even got shot and killed dead 20, 40 years ago. You'll never know. You'll never understand, will you? Just leave people alone. That's the way to live. And you take your own little piece of this world until you leave it alone. And that's the way it is. You got to leave it alone someday. That's the way it is. Just leave the world alone. You don't have to be a part of it. If it's too much for you, you can go somewhere else. Uh, but that was the song, and I'm going to put that on after this. Um, but it's a matter of purity and survivability, self-protection. Surviving, defending yourself. That's all it is. And the way to get along with others is to respect them. Whatever they are, just respect the way they are. You may be right, may be wrong, but it's not you. Okay.